So now we're going to clip our seam allowance on the inside of the uh, head up size opening. Now I'm going to use some scissors that are not my good fabric scissors. And what you want to do is just clip up to that red line. Not Make sure you're not going to clip through any of your stitching. You can always make this a little more opening. So I'm clipping about every quarter of an inch. So what that's going to do is allow us to stand that up. So go ahead and clip all the way around that opening. Just be careful not to clip your stitches. So now I have that open all the way around and you can just gently push those flaps out. So these become very important anchors for the rest of your hat because this is what's going to hold the top of the hat onto the bottom. So we're just making them stand up like that all the way around. So now that we've pushed our little tabs up, we're going to take our long head size band, which is about one inch wide. They can be smaller, uh, but it's easier to deal with one inch band like this. So we're going to take it and curl it up on itself and put it inside that hole. Now you want to line up where it's overlapping the most with the center back. So we're going to start back here with the center back. I'm going to push those tabs up all the way around. It's going to be easy if I do this. Stick it in there. Push it all the way around. Now this this is going to be extra long. We don't need this much in here. So keep pushing it out until it stands up straight. Now you may find that you need to push some of your tabs closer to your wire because you want this inside band to stand straight up. So what we're going to do is we're going to stitch this into place and we're going to stab stitch through the buckram here, catching these tabs and this uh, head sizing piece. So let's just start over here on the one end. We're going to push that wire that flat like that. Get my needle. Doing a double uh, thread again. Okay. So you're going to want to stitch right next to this wire. In a normal hat, this would be 
more important because the, this would be the opening for your head and you really want to make sure that you're getting the maximum amount of space up to that wire. Okay, so now I've got my, my thread attached to my buckram. I'm going to go from the inside here. I'm just going to stab stitch through right right at the base of the wire here. I'm going to stab stitch all the way around. I'm going through through the flap through the little seam allowance there and back through the buckram. Back through the buckram, and you're going to do that all the way around. Now, what you want to do is make sure that this edge right here is lining up with the edge, the bottom of the buckram. You don't want that sticking out like that. You don't want that sticking out. You want that lined up right at the edge. So just keep going around. And stitch that in. Now, now make sure that you're catching enough of the strip, the buckram here, so that it's not going to pull out later on. I find it easier if you keep putting it down on the table and pushing that top edge down. I don't know if you can see that. So you're going to continue stitching all the way around. Make sure you catch all those little tabs and make sure that your band is up, standing up straight up against the wire. Keep pushing those tabs up against the wire so that your band hole does not get too tight. Make sure you leave enough thread so that you can tie it off. It's important that you secure this stitching. As you get about three quarters of the way through stitching the band in, you'll want to clip the center back seam so that there's about an inch overlap in the back. So now I've clipped my band so that there's about an inch overlap. And what we're going to do is pull that up out so that it's standing nice and straight and tall. And we're just going to do a pad stitch, which is just a diagonal stitch. Around the end of that. You just want to secure that end. You can just do a little running stitch across the top here. Make sure you keep keep that nice and straight and then once again over this raw edge just so it doesn't poke out at any point you just want to stitch those two layers together okay so now you've got your band attached it's starting to look like a hat. So tie that off.
voila. We now have our head sizing band and our brim.